Okay, it is Friday morning of February 9th. Oh man. So I woke up, I went to bed late and I was like really tired. So, you know, it's not always such a good idea to go to sleep at 11.30 when you're planning on waking up at 5.30. Oh, anyway, today I wanted to show you my meal plan. Um, it's not, it may look more complicated than it actually is. And it's not perfect, but it's, it's like, for me the key is simple and concise. So I'll show you what it looks like. So there's a couple different parts to this meal plan. I'm not. I'm not. Like a nutritionist and have any experience other than like when I go on vacation, I'm planning meals. And so um, in my in the program that I'm doing, there's portion sizes. And so I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I created three tracks is what I, what I call them. It's nothing again like nutrition. It's just like ways that I can orient myself because my days look very different. Not every day I have like, I can eat at the same time. So, this is um, um, for the same amount of time. And so I created three options for me. One where I ha I called the D track, where like, it's like I, ha I don't, I have, not very much time to eat lunch and breakfast, but I do have more time that I can prepare like a bigger, like not bigger, but like a bed, like a more planned out dinner. So Italian seasoning, mayo, and steak seasoning, and you got really good chicken. So yeah, like same thing for for L track. It's a little bit more portions, or I have like more, dif like different uh, categories of, of of food that goes into lunch. So I make sure I. Eat all throughout the day. I guess I'll show you if that makes sense. So this is my weekly plan. So obviously I started this yesterday and so I don't know why it says August. I'll change that. But so that was yesterday. Today I had I pre-planned to do the L track and so I was looking at it but you know what I realized and so this is why I'm doing this video is because I'm very human and I want to show you that I'm human because um for for the L track like, I pl planned for chicken, and I, like, forgot to leave my chicken thawing in the, in the fridge. So, that's not gonna work out, because I'm prepping it this morning. So, you know what I'm gonna do? Am I gonna quit? That's it? No more? No, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do this. That's why I created several options. So, I'm just gonna do, bam. I'm gonna do the, let's do the deep track. I changed my mind again. I found out I have tuna I, somewhere around here, so I'll just use that instead. It's all good. Change the little sucker right back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So boom, there it is. Okay, back to track L for today, and that is the meals for today. Those that's just an example. Like that's not like the the actual like what, how many portions are in each are over here. So yeah, I'll like look at that and I'll, and I'll do that. Instead of chicken, I'm gonna use tuna today because I forgot my chicken. I'm human. You know? Update. So I don't have tuna. So I'm going to change it again. But hey, this is... <laughs> this is like real life. One more time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is what's going to happen today. So, um, quick comment on Shakeology, like, I don't know all, like, all this, every single health benefit from it. I know there's a lot of them. Um, I can say that I do feel really good when I, when I take them. Um, I need to be more consistent and that's why I'm doing this program. So I'll let you know as I go throughout, like, at the end of these three weeks, like, how I feel, um, taking the Shakeology uh, consistently. I 
I do appreciate though is that I don't have to buy a whole bunch of nutrients and supplements. It's just like one, one shake and that's it. And it's so simple and it tastes really good. Okay, let me show you some of the things that I have. Some grapes, carrots, canola. If I like don't eat them too quickly, these snacks, they last me. Got my smoothie, which is super, super good. This is the Shakeology right here. And I think I put it on like ice cream roll because it's like thick. So hopefully I can I can still drink it. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly show you some of the some of the things superfoods that are in Shakeology. taking any vitamins or supplements with like all of that in there it's like a lot it's awesome it's really cool so, you can do it i believe in you so um you know how i plan to eat granola today for my carbs somebody brought croissants so i'm gonna replace my carbs with um with the croissant instead of the granola Granola is probably like a better way to go, but I love myself croissant, so just make sure it fits my portions and then okay, I'll save the granola for tomorrow. So I realize I'm not hungry, but I do crave food. Like I want to eat, but like I'm not like my stomach isn't like hurting. I just really want to eat. has literally never happened before at work. Are you kidding me? Are you literally kidding me? There's just so many croissants. I want all the croissants. Recording? Oh, sweet, okay. Well, this is what two containers of, of greens look like. And this is just, this is just lettuce. And this is what a, like half of one looks like. So I'm just gonna set these bell peppers. Okay, here we go. So this is what like two containers of veggies look like. And this is like, like half of one of what it looks like. I just want to take a sec and introduce you to some of these apps. Today I'm going to talk about the 21 Day Fix Tracker. I love this because it just, it helps me like keep, tr <laughs> keep track of what I'm eating. I can put down my, my measurements and there's a before and after and then I have like all the different days um, in the 21 days that I'm that I'm working on and then I can log and allocate my portions and I can see oh how much I have left and maybe I went over a little bit it's awesome okay so I just finished um, the, the salad I guess here it is it's not good oh yeah did not take me very long. It's super simple. So just two little containers of, of lettuce, and romaine lettuce, and um, a half, a half a container of bell peppers, and some chicken. All I did was put a little bit of mayo and some seasoning on there, threw it on there, put some raspberry vinaigrette, and there you go. Looks super good. I'm gonna eat it. Oh, my hands are so this cold. This is all improvisation. They're making this up on the spot, Rachel. This is so cold. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, hey. Well, it's late again. I... <laughs> I stayed up late because there were so many things that I found that are going to help me with work and with some projects that I'm working on. But anyway, today was, it was good. It was also challenging in a different way. I feel like, especially now that I've chosen to be selective on the food that I'm going to eat, like I would notice all of these, all of this food around me. And it's funny, I feel like I'm going to miss out. Like, when is the next time there's going to be like three boxes of croissants at 
at work and I feel like I need to take advantage of that opportunity but in reality I like would do worse for my overall health so it's good there's cookies and like I took a banana so that was good but yeah one day at a time we can do this love you bye oh, and steak seasoning and you got really good chicken uh -huh. that's it